Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is a brand new line of switches that Ubiquity is releasing. And these are the Pro Max switches. They are going to come in PoE switches and non-PoE switches. But one of the biggest changes to this switch line is the RGB lighting. And they're calling it Ether Lighting. And it does some really cool things. We're going to take a look. I'm going to, we're going to cut over to some video I filmed. Uh, I want to thank Ubiquity for sending this uh, switch over. And I have the 24-port PoE. It's the Pro Max 24 PoE. It has 400 watts of PoE. When we go to the switch, we'll look at the, the physical layout and the PoE and all those things. We're going to look at all the visual effects. And... Uh, it's it's just really interesting because nobody else is really doing RGB that I've seen uh, at a scale that Ubiquity is going to do it. So we're going to have two 24-port switches and two 48-port switches to start off with in the line. So the max uh, 24 PoE is going to come in at uh, 799 USDs. The max 48 PoE is going to be 1,299 USD. The max... Pro 24 will be 449 and the 48 will be 549. Of course, those lower cost switches are non uh, PoE switches. And then you'll have to watch for the release of the um, of the Ether lighting patch cables. And I'll actually show you some of those patch cables here shortly. But I've got this switch adopted over to uh, over to my UDR. And so let's pull it up and let's take a look at it. So first of all, uh, you'll see the you know the normal normal things that we we see when we have a switch. But when we pull up the switch port manager, let's talk about this. So this is a 24 port switch that has two SFP plus ports. It's got a total 400 watt uh, budget. It's got 2.5 gig PoE plus plus ports. That's your last eight ports your next eight ports um well let's start from you know one through eight are going to be one gig poe plus ports nine through let's see be a nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen are all one gig poe plus plus ports and then 17 through 24 are 2.5 gigabit PoE++ ports. Now, PoE++ and 2.5 gig coming together, uh, you might you might have guessed it. So um, right here, we can get we can take full advantage of this is the U6 Enterprise upcoming APs that may be coming out uh, that need that 2.5 gig port and are PoE hungry to provide maximum throughput and maximum connectivity to your clients. You're going to be able to power those uh, with these 2.5 gig PoE++ ports. So you can see right now I've got a cloud key plugged into one and I've got a camera plugged into another because I'm going to change the uh, VLAN on port 22. I'm going to change it to be the cloud key. And then 23, I'm going to change it to be the cameras and you'll see why we're going to do that here in just a minute. So what we can do is come back into our devices. We'll go to the switch. It's getting ready. We'll go back into the settings and on this main settings uh, screen, we have this ether lighting panel here and we can either show the the LED the ether lighting on the switch with different colors so when you saw this when you see the switch you'll notice that 1 gig and 10 gig are both white 2.5 gig would be blue and 100 meg would be this orange color or we can change the color of the RGB ether lighting based on the VLAN. And since this is since this is Christmas time, I think what I'm gonna do is I wanna go ahead and I wanna change I wanna change the default uh, to be white. I'm gonna change the cloud key to be like a nice like a nice green 
Christmassy color here. Something a little darker. My eyes are probably need to be checked. And then cameras will go with this nice red. So I just applied that and uh, we're gonna go we're gonna go check that out. And then uh, I'm gonna give you another physical overview of the switch. I'm super excited about this, just this little tweak and uh, the ability to be able to identify devices based on port color. You send send somebody in there and you say, look for this color port with this device. They're gonna come up with all kinds of uses for this. So we're gonna go uh, take a look at this and then I'm gonna give you another up close uh, look at the ether, the ether lighting patch cable. So stay tuned. So real quick, my colors weren't showing up uh, real well. So uh, I am changing the, the colors um, that you're gonna see with these two different networks. I'm gonna restart it, but uh, I'm gonna restart this switch, but what you see here is what it is gonna look like when this thing boots. So let's reboot it. And you can see we're counting down. Now the RGB, uh, the, I don't think there's any other vendor doing this. And it provides some uh, pretty cool things because we can either, oh yeah, look at that. We can look at our uplink uh, in different colors. We can have the VLANs be different colors. But this, look at this. This is fantastic. Nobody else is doing this right now. And it's not just it's not just a gimmick. I mean, these lights have actual, you know, use cases. So, and then you'll see, we're going to talk more about these little Ethernet cables that they've got. They have specially uh, designed Ethernet cables for this. So we're going to keep letting this uh, boot. It says it's got about one minute there. So we'll see... what happens when this thing comes up completely. But you can see we're cycling through all the different colors. I mean, it's so unique. There's really nothing else else like it, especially in a 400 watt uh, switch with PoE++ 2.5 gig ports. It just really stands out. And, you know, being able to have that RGB and identify ports that way is definitely interesting. I don't know if you can see these Ethernet cables, but they're, I'll show you in the, in the light, but they, they're translucent on the end, and they, they had these specifically manufactured, and I think they're calling this, is this Ether lighting what they're calling this? Well, we'll plug a couple devices into those as well, because they do act, they do act different than uh, regular patch cable and it says it's taking a little longer I'm not 100% sure why it's taking a little longer man that is just so unique if you have that in a rack oh yeah now we're booted up it was like a concert like starting up there I don't know how well you can see it here I might have to show you but yeah see how you've got the RJ45 it's it's clear there but then the boot is translucent and that's so that this whole thing can kind of glow so let's uh, we'll get a device and get it plugged in here all right so we're using these special uh, Ethernet cables you can see the entire boot <laughs> the entire thing glows so uh, we'll play around with these and we'll change the color so that you can uh, you see how that looks. But how cool is that, that the entire boot of these cables, and these cables will be uh, available in the store later. Okay, so you can see that anything that's on our default VLAN, so like these two uplinks, this is the uplink that gets us to the UDR, this is the uplink here that goes to my flex switch, but then you can see, look at how uh, bright that is. So one of these is the camera, and one of these is uh, the cloud key VLAN, so yellow and then uh, red over here. And it looks, it looks just really great. And these special ether, ether lighting patch cables are fantastic. So 
uh, we'll take another close-up look at those here uh, before we're done. All right, and as you saw the close-up, the colors there, I just can't wait to see what they are going to come up with. But other than that, I mean, this thing, this is going to be my main my main distribution switch. So we're going to be, you know, redoing Ethernet and network and everything. This will be one of my main uh, unified distribution switches. And we'll see, uh, you know, how they work um, with all kinds of devices. So real quick, here is, I tried to show the, uh, the ether lighting patch cable. And when you start getting, you know, I don't have super duper expensive camera gear, but you can see that RJ45 is translucent and so is the boot. And that's what gives it that, that, um, effect where that light's just exploding through that cable. So I can't wait to see, you know, what kind of things people come up with, what kind of automations people come up with, uh, what kind of use cases, where the firmware goes to allow us to do all these things. I do want to thank Ubiquity for sending, sending it out. And uh, I'll try to put uh, links down in the description so that when these are available, uh, you can get your very own if you're interested in trying it out. And like I said, these uh, patch cables will be available uh, in the, the upcoming weeks. So if you've got any questions about the switch, if you've got any questions about the ether lighting, all those things, let me know down in the, down in the comments. I know Ubiquity watches this, so, so if you got feedback for them too, let them know down in the comments. Once again, thanks Ubiquity for sending this out. This is uh, something that is unique and that, that I don't think anybody else is doing. So if uh, you like this video and this switch, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links and a Patreon link if you'd like to support the channel. And as always, if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form on the front page. We'll help you get your ether lighting going or any other network needs, security needs, storage need, voice over IP, all those good things. And I want you to submit that. Somebody will reach out as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.